just just on the ring road around the Rusinga Island. Just on your left, on your right, on the Rusinga Island Road is Badilisha Eco Village Foundation Trust. This is the entrance to Badilisha. I'm just going inside. Just closing our gate. So on the inside by Delicia, on our gate is an inscription about permaculture, where we are asking our visitors if they are inspired by permaculture, for people who have learned about permaculture, this is what we call the permaculture flower. The house where it is written is just a security house. We are also using it as, it as a stove, and then on your on your left is also another stove where we are keeping most of our things. On your right, on your left again, we have our kitchen. In the kitchen there, we have. Then water harvesting tank. This is the kitchen room where we are doing the cooking for the kids. We also have a small stove here for cooking. They are energy saving stoves. We call them rocket stoves. And we have also built a shade just outside the kitchen. And then we also have a water tank which is raised. This water tank is used for storing water from the lake. We pump water from the lake when we have no water. This is our small meeting room but it's also for feeding the kids. You can go inside and then you have a look. These are just sand for building. We are still building a lot here when we have funds. This is right inside the room where we are feeding the kids. During when we have a feeding program, the kids stay here. So it's a very nice room for the kids, very spacious with a lot of nice wind flowing we also have another water rainwater harvesting tank here where we are having rainwater harvesting again from the main tank and then we have a training hall here training hall and then we have rainwater harvesting again and storage but within the day in a very bushy place we have created enough enough shade here and just behind there is the chicken house with a lot of chickens and uh, just here this is our main hall where we are doing the trainings it's right inside here this is our main hall when we have big big group to train this is where we do it and it's our main hall and uh, so this is the main compound though we are living in the bush it's quite bushy though we started when it was just empty and we there was no shade but now we have shade and we have a lot of stuff if you look up there, if you look up there, we have solar panels for our electricity, and we have really a nice moringa tree there with papayas. We are still doing rainwater harvesting again. You know, in permaculture, there's a lot of focus on rainwater harvesting, and we have our office. This is the entrance to the office. We have a lot of bushy here, quite bushy. This is our health tank. 
this is the help base and this is Rusinga Island this is the office we are just going into the office we have a lot of materials on the wall with the kids a lot of materials on natural medicine we have our small office here with the chairs we also have a library with books for the kids and also for pharmaculture and more and more books for pharmaculture we also have a lot of chairs for meetings for hire in the office this is where we have our water for drinking when we are working in the office this is my small office this is where I normally work uh, I, this is where I normally work and this is our solar system this is our solar system the storage batteries are there so the printers we have some moringa leaves harvested there we also have the computer which I'm using my bag there, the chairs some materials about about permaculture, about making a fray frame we have also materials on warm farms we have materials on companion planting, we have materials on warm farms, manure. Uh, we also focus on the power culture ethics, the power culture trees, a lot of things. Yeah. So this is the office there. And uh, just on the other side, I didn't show you. We have our small shed here for resting. You can just hear the birds making a lot of noise there. And this is our small roadside shop where we want to where we sell some of what we produce from the farm. And uh, we have a lot of trees here. We have a lot of diversity because permaculture is focusing on diversity so we have a lot of diversity and uh, now I'm walking down through down to the farm this is the other side of the chicken house the chickens are right inside there and we have the farm there so this is the path a lot of moringa trees you can just see the farm with a lot of trees we have papayas, we have fruit trees we have a lot a lot of rich biodiversity we have many plants this place was quite bare and we have tried to bring it back to its normal its natural status we have really tried to improve the biodiversity and trying to create as many microorganisms as possible on this other side we have our small bathrooms we have some small toilets on this side for people and then we have a meditation spot this is for resting and when you want to relax after long days of work this is the farm, it's quite green now because of the rain we have a lot of rich biodiversity, we have a lot of plants with the trees, we are, when, we, when we prune the trees we get a lot of wood which we also sell a little bit and we have a lot, a lot of fruit trees around you can just see the papayas there you can just see moringa trees are there you can just see the papayas they're just growing nicely there have a lot a lot you can just see the chilies here we have a lot of things growing here 
really have rich biodiversity and we have a lot growing many plants growing here and uh, we hope that we will be able to get so much food here especially with the rich biodiversity that we have here and we are creating another small fish pond here it is just measured here you can just have a look at the strings we are trying to create a pond here trying to do some aquaculture and we hope that it will be okay and just see the papayas they are growing nicely and and just have a look at this beautiful house here made from 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 mud it's a nice and a beautiful plant there this is that side there small place for resting for the kids we have a banana there some beautiful flowers also we are also putting up a guest house we are putting up a guest house here for people who are going to stay here overnight the volunteers who are coming to stay we are trying to put up some accommodation houses here there there we also have a small place here for camping small place there for camping we are also making up a charcoal fridge but for the rest it's just fun I think this gives a clear picture of what Balish is all about and this is the path back to the office thank you